Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to my new viewers. Anyway, uh, let's get this party started. Uh, the calories will be scrolling in just a second here. This is part two of Seagulls at the Beach. I'm going to be mixing up a few colors before we get started. I'm using a new color that I very seldom use. You don't see it much in nature. It's a phthalo turquoise. Now, turquoise is a color that is natural in nature, but I can't say that I see it around here a whole lot. Anyway, so we're going to mix it up. And I also have the colors left over from the sky because the sky is reflected off the water. So we'll be putting that in as well. So uh, let's get mixing. We'll be mixing some of the cerulean blue and white along with the fallow turquoise and the green. And we're gonna come up with a nice color for the water and start putting that in. And again, can't stress the fact that your horizon line needs to be extremely parallel. You don't want your water running off the side of the canvas. Now I'm just trying to get a nice base of color across the bottom there where the water is. And from there we'll add more colors to it. But for now we just want a, a nice coverage of the canvas, that's all. If you're not real good at getting a nice straight line, then uh, you can always wait until the top part of the canvas is totally dry and use a piece of painter's tape to get a straight line. Or you could uh, hold your a ruler up there and uh, try it that way. Just a few tips and pointers. Y'all be sure to watch it till the end. That way you can see how absent-minded I am. Anyway, I thought it was kind of funny myself. Stick around, you'll see. We're adding in some of the sky color, a little bit of a darker color, the phthalo green mixture, back and forth, you know, trying to create those tiny little waves off at a distance. And this is where I got a little too close to my horizon line and messed it up. But in a second, you'll see I come in from the top with sky color, the color of the clouds, and uh, clean that up a little bit. Right here I'm using my angle brush, that way you can get a nice crisp line. Before that I was using my fan brush to get the color on the water there. It's good for spreading it out quick. Putting in more blue there in the front for the wave. Also adding in little spots of dark, dark green there, the fallow color, and uh, 
that's the shadows in the wave. Now I'm going back with just about straight white and then the light blue and adding in uh, some little white caps out there. Here I'm cleaning my brush because I'm about to go to the straight white to put in some of the foam across the top of the wave. Didn't thoroughly clean it, just got the most of the blue off of it. Now I'm going with a quick downward stroke to indicate the direction that those waves are flowing. Now it's time for beach. We're going to put in some sand color here. Before we get too carried away, we're running out of canvas. <laughs> Gotta have a beach. We're painting that beach in at an angle because that's what way the water would naturally flow in. So we want it to appear that the water is flowing across the sand. And then back to the water, which, uh, you know, just lights and darks alternating, just giving a real good mix. Just tiny little strokes to indicate movement out there. Now, I wish I would have stopped somewhere around in here because in a minute you're gonna see that I put some more waves out there. I feel that I overworked my water. And then when we get up closer, you'll see that I, I just, I'm not crazy about the waves that I put in, okay? I don't care for them. And I'd like to just start all over with the, the whole water and redo it all. But. I was wanting to finish this video and have something for y'all to see. So, uh, here it is. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is one of those paintings that I'd say is the ugly. Or not necessarily ugly, but not necessarily good, that's for sure. But see, I just want to point out to you that that's just how it is. There'll be paintings that you do that you just don't like at all. That you probably couldn't even give away. And they'll get tossed off in the corner. And maybe, you know, with the intentions of someday I'll go back and I'll fix that. Which, you know, that can happen. I'm not saying it won't. I might. And I might even make a video about it. Someday. But uh, right now, it is what it is. So, moving right along, we're putting in little doodads and little whatnots on the beach, you know, because, you know, not every beach is pristine and crystal clean. There's little pieces of driftwood and dirt and specks and shells and all that kind of stuff that wash up. So, we put a little bit of that on the beach, and then I'm back at the water. So, you'll see, I, I can keep working it. I go back and forth, back and forth. Waves, water, beach. So, there's that. a light shadow in underneath the foam as it washes up on the beach. 
but I'm going to go back and uh, tone that down just a little bit as well. Now keep in mind, I'm not using a reference photo for this. This is all coming from my head, which could explain a lot. Putting in some little white streaks down there to indicate the foam washing up on the sand, or washing out, depending on how you're looking at it. It's been a while since I've been to the beach. I think it's time to go. I'm ready. Need to go get away and take my camera with me and get some really good reference photos of those waves so I can know how to paint them the next time. All right, so as we're painting along, I'd like to let y'all know that I reached a small little milestone. I have over 100 subscribers now, and uh, hopefully that will just uh, multiply from this point forward. And uh, I need a whole lot of watch hours, and I appreciate y'all watching my videos. I really do. Y'all can help me out by liking, sharing, you know, that way YouTube will put it out there, you know, to more and more people. And the more people that watch, the more hours I get watched. My ultimate goal is to get monetized. And, uh, of course, share my knowledge with y'all of what I've learned on, you know, how to use oil paints. But, uh... My channel is, is progressing slowly but surely. It's only been six months since I started this journey. And uh, I figure I might even make a video about that, my, my YouTube art journey. But, uh, yeah, that's where we are. More white caps. It's pretty rough seas. Putting in the shadow up underneath the little foam there again, just not as quite as dark as it was. Anyway, I think y'all get the idea. 
all I've got to say is you can paint your wave any way you like. I don't like mine. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to each his own. You may like my wave. I don't know. Leave a comment if you like my wave. If you don't, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, I know there's room for improvement. There always is. Nobody's perfect. But if you keep practicing, you'll get close. Okay, so here's the funny part. Uh, it's seagulls at the beach. Do you see any seagulls? Neither do I. I've already signed it. But guess what? I went back and put seagulls in after the fact. Because I forgot. I forgot to paint seagulls. Anyway, there's one on the beach and there's two in the air. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get that on video of me painting the actual seagull. It's quite simple, though. But, uh, anyway, it is what it is. If you can't laugh at yourself, who, who can you laugh at? Right? Right. Thanks for watching.